Hello everybody and welcome to Drew in the moment. We are here at Fort Wilderness Lodge. We are gonna bring you along with us today. We're gonna check out what's going on here. We're gonna get a snack. And just so you know, we actually were just over at Magic Kingdom and we took a little ferry boat to get over here, which we have actually never done. I, we've never done that, I don't know why, but now we have and we're here and I can't wait to show you guys Fort Wilderness Lodge. It is awesome. I love it. It actually reminds me a little bit of back home. I'm from Maine originally. It's got that kind of northeast kind of vibe going on. So uh, thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoy the video and without further ado, let's show you around Wilderness Lodge. Here we are and I do have a special guest. Nah, she's always my special guest. Are you excited to check I'm out? Excited. Tell me. We gotta eat some lunch, right? We do, because I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm from Magic Kingdom, that's why. That's right. We were walking a lot. We're hungry. And there goes the boat. And we're going to have to take that back so we can go back to Magic Kingdom. But if you have never checked out this resort, it is so awesome. I really, really enjoy it. It's It's got that home feel for me. So I hope you guys enjoy our little journey today. I love the buildings. They're awesome. As you can see right behind, look how cool that is, man. Uh, so we got the lobby, which we're gonna be showing you, I think right now we're gonna head over there. And then we're gonna be eating at Geyser Point Bar and Grill, which we have never eaten at. So we're gonna check that out. Hopefully we uh, hopefully we have a good meal. I, I have high hopes. I really do. And I just love how you enter. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're, like I love walking on this as you're like elevated off from the greenery. And look how tall those trees are. And look at how tall those trees are. They're beautiful, but look, I gotta go back to the building just for a second. Look at that, man. That is just awesome. I feel like I'm like at like a lodge up in Aspen or something. You know what I mean? Like the huge, huge buildings. How in the world did they get those trees to grow through those holes so perfectly? Skills, honey. Skills, man. Look at that. They planted it perfectly to go right through that hole because they, of course, they built, you know, the decking first. <laughs> and of course, the swim area, which is awesome. It feels a little like Endor walking through here. So cool. You know, with the trees and the Spanish moss. Oh. It's so delightful, and we have not been back to this resort for some time now. But I did have a dessert during Christmas a year or two ago. It was called a reindeer treat. It wasn't the best. No. It was not the best. Oh. Would you look at that? And I do see a little zen area over to my left. We might have to go check out that little water element. So excited to be here. I said, remember, you don't have to stay in this resort to come and visit them. Exactly. Come you visit can... them, come do some shopping, yep. get something to eat, and enjoy this like beautiful theme. The, the theme is awesome, else. yes. The only thing you can do is go swimming or sleep here. This is called Copper Creek Falls. Look at this, man. Oh, this is awesome. I think this deserves a little zen moment. Seriously, it's, it's breathtaking, man. And uh, I hope one day to actually be able to stay here. We've never stayed at this resort, but we have spent a lot of time, you know, in the past coming over here and just uh, walking around and enjoying it. A lot of stairs. They don't have escalators here, so you got to use the stairs. They really got to get escalators here. <laughs> And the flowers. They look beautiful. Man. Gorgeous. Let's get into the lobby. Let's get into the lobby. 
Let's get into the lobby and find some things to do. What, what? <laughs> okay, oh, come on. Here we are. We're in the lobby. All right, Drew, he's gonna show us the lobby. I'm gonna show you guys around. I, I'm gonna act like I live here. Like I own the place. I don't own the place. I wish I did, but I don't. Right. You know, this, this lobby, I will tell you during Christmas time, is outstanding. Oh, that tree, the tree beautiful and, and look here. at this. This is the big reveal here that I was blown away the first time we came. Look at this area right here. This lobby is awesome. So cool. You got the totem poles, those lights. I have to, I have to say this is probably one of my favorite resorts. Out of all the Disney resorts. I love it. So much detail that goes in. Just awesome. Breathtaking. It really is breathtaking. It's amazing. Look at that. And that is one big fire pit, man. And they have a restaurant right over here, which I've also never eaten in. It's, we're not gonna eat here today. I wanna eat at the one that is outside, but this is the Whispering Canyon Cafe. And around this resort, around the lobby, they have a lot of this cool, like, uh, I, I think it's like a re, you know, like they remade it, but this is a double trailer headdress is what they call it. This thing is huge, man. A lot of feathers going on there want to give you guys just another angle so you can see how large this lobby is man it's huge it is huge and we will be going all the way up there so we can show you guys what it looks like from all the way up there to the magic hey look at this It is a cute little bridge. It's the cutest one I've ever seen. And I've seen some cute bridges over my time. <laughs> I know. Look, we're already, we're already getting up there, man. But I did want to show you guys over here. I love this area. Our kids love this area as well. It's so cozy. I mean, come on. You got a fireplace. Nice little place to, to sit and relax and still feel part of the lobby. Queen noticed the lights on the stairs. I feel like I'm like, I don't know, going, going to like a movie premiere or something. I feel fancy. Where are you going, Queen V? Oh, wow. They got a little fireplace over here. Look at this. Oh, in case you gotta warm yourself by the fire. Each floor has like a little. A little section, yeah. So you sit down here and you're gonna be looking out onto this view. But we're, we're gonna go all the way up if, uh, if we're able to. So let's do it. We made it all the way to the top and Woo! if you if you're tired, don't do it the day that you're tired. There was a lot of stairs, man. We are pretty high up. But I want to show you guys, like, they have cool seating here that you can just, you know, if you got a snack or a bevy, they got a spot here. But now we're going to show you how high we really are up. This is very high. It's not for the squeamish. I get a little, luck. Uh, I get a little Whoa. nervous. Seriously, look. They're so tiny down know, there. They look like little ants. They really do. And uncles. <laughs> ba doom ja. Yeah. This but is so such cool. a cool view. It, Ooh, it really is. They have more tables in the other side. This is the yeah, place yeah. to be. Uh -huh. This is one of the only resorts that, you know, you can get up on the balcony this high. Maybe the only one. Let me know in the comments if there's another one because I don't recall any other Disney resort that you can like get a lobby view from this high up. This it, it is crazy cool though. Just want to let you guys know. So we saw some people checking in 
to the resort and it makes me so happy to see the look on these people's faces when they walk into a resort whether it's one that they've already been to or like in the case that we saw they haven't been here and the eyes and just looking it, it they were so happy you know to be here i just want to share that with you guys that that's always exciting to see people get excited now it is time to check out the merchandise i want to show you guys this cool totem pole which is awesome and the last time i had checked they have you know ornaments and things that are based they're, they're smaller versions of this really cool but let's go check out some wilderness lodge merchandise as promised, like I said, they got the cool totem here. This is uh, what is it? A pitcher, a pitcher holder, I think is what it is. I'm trying to find the price yeah. on it, like a pitcher holder. Uh, and they put it on the bottom. And they put it on the bottom. Uh, Seventeen dollars. Super cute. You get yourself a little tumbler here. I like it. I like it. Twenty-seven. This is awesome. Look at this that with is so cute. with the uh, yes, with the uh, with the chimney. chimney. The chimney. The chimney. And then they got a bigger one in case you're really cool. want you know, we want to spend some money. I'm going to say $60. Oh. That is really nice. What? 35 bucks? That is a steal. I seriously, I thought like 60. $35 for that. That's awesome. Oh my goodness. It's like a 20 finger mug. Look at this thing. Does it matter? Look at that. But look, they have the. That's perfect for you, dear. It really is for my gorilla hands. Look at that. I could put an iced coffee in here. And how much is that? Seven million dollars. Can you believe that? Let's get it. 23. 23. That is a that's a really good deal. 23 bucks? Like seriously, what? I can almost fit both my hands in there. <laughs> this right here caught my eye. So you got the Snow White Seven Dwarfs, but it's also Wilderness Lodge. So it's a little jewelry box. Storybook dining at Artist Point with Snow White. That's really nice. I didn't even look at the price on it though. I wonder. Let's find out. Let's investigate. $55. It is really nice, though. Oh, yeah. They're really rocking the uh, Snow White Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Now, what kind of a cut do you call that? A front cut? Is it called a, is it called a front a front cut? It's a half a crop top. It's, it's a half crop. I'm just making that up, but I'm going to call it a half crop. Oh, for the kids, that's super cute. And then if, you know, you like the big boy shirts, as we call them, big boy shirt, that's really not, ooh, really soft. That is really soft. 45 bucks, that's not bad. Yes. And that's mainly what we're showing you guys on this vlog is just the the Wilderness Lodge, uh, you know, branded branded merchandise. What do you got there? Ooh, a little tote. That's cool. And then you got Smokey Bear. Remember, you are the only one that can prevent forest fires? Isn't that what it is, I think? Something like that? This is the overview, you know, of the, of the space of the store. It's actually bigger than you think. There's some nooks and crannies in here. They have an area as well in case you need, you know, some cereal, donuts. I always like to show that places have this stuff because, you know, sometimes in a pinch you need a snack, you know, maybe you didn't uh, eat enough at the park or whatever, you know, get some pizza and some drinks as well. I just, I just always have to show this a little adulted beverages in case you need those and like a you know a first aid type area I almost missed showing you guys I even told you there was an ornament because I remember there being an ornament here so they got this cool ornament and uh, $25 you get the ornament 
also have these, and I believe we actually have one of these at the house. Yes, we have one of these at the house. I forget where we got it, or like maybe somebody had gotten it for us. I can't remember. But yeah, 13 bucks. That's a really nice magnet. And of course, you have your towel. Is it? Is it fun? Oh yeah, that's a good towel. That's a wicked good towel. I like it. It's a, <laughs> it's a pillow pet. But I, I will tell you this though, uh, out of um, most of the resorts that we've been to, this actually has really good, you know, uh, resort themed merchandise that is good. And I, how did I miss this? Corksicle, which is huge. They're becoming huge through Disney, obviously. This is really cool. It looks like wood. Would you believe me? 40, 45 bucks. That is awesome. And two sizes as well. Before we head outside, I have to go across this bridge as well. Because it's real this is a cute bridge as well, Queen. Wouldn't you say? Let's try it out. The little cute ones. Look look how she does it. Look how she does it. Look at us. Look at us on a bridge. And here at the Roaring Fork, this is also a quick service. Show you guys a little bit of what they got. Some breakfast. Of course, you gotta have your and your steel cut oatmeal. You can't skimp on that. And some lunch and dinner. And look at that little dessert there. That is so cute. And right here, that is fantastic. Barbecue brisket and burnt ends. Burnt ends are one of my favorite things. But let's just show you guys in here real quick so you get an idea of what it looks like in the Roaring Fork. Queen V said, oh my goodness, Drew, look at this bad boy. This thing is huge. Can you the size of the gas pump oven? Yes, uh, yes. It's like the size of a softball. <laughs> thing is huge. But you know, once again, some beverages. They've got your sweets. Look over here. Oh, Humphrey Beehive. Oh, Beehive. And that's that bear back there. And they got some more cupcakes. Disney loves their cupcakes is what I found out. This though. Okay, well he, here, here is your pastries. Beautiful looking pastries, but there is something that we got that was so awesome. I love it. Look at this little roasting marshmallow on a fire. The little marshmallow. Yeah, the little marshmallow, it's like toasted. It's toasted. You gotta get your cro croissant. And a chocolate croissant, which is delicious. But yeah, they got you here. And I'll just pan it around so you guys can see. It's a small little area, but you can get uh, get some food and some, some pastries. No, and we're not eating here. We're gonna eat outside. So this building is awesome, and I don't know if my memory serves me correct. I believe this was like a spa. Used to be. I no, I didn't see any signs, but it's just a cool looking building. Regardless, you know. And just the views around here are just awesome. I mean, look at this. I feel like I'm in like a, uh, a national park. That's the vibe it has. It's got a little national park kind of feel to it. And right over here is Geyser Point Bar and Grill. Where we're gonna eat, because I figure, let's eat outside, you know? Because it's such, it's such a nice day out. And I feel like eating at Geyser Point. I mean, let's do it. So here is the menu. There's a couple items. That bison cheeseburger sounds delicious, but also they have roasted salmon. That looks really good. And of course the kids menu, in case you got kids coming in. It all looks good. It all looks good. So while I wait to get called back for our table, it said about 30 minutes, uh, and I asked for one of these tables that's right near the water, because this view 
is beautiful. So I'm just sitting waiting. But I'm going to show you guys the view that I am seeing right now. It's awesome. It is such a beautiful day. Right on the water, right near the water. This is gorgeous. Not a bad place to have to wait to get called back for our table. And uh, we waited maybe an extra 10 minutes or so because I specifically wanted uh, a table that was right near the water, kind of out in the open. As you can tell, gorgeous view. Oh yeah, the, the water view. It's worth it, in my opinion. Maybe it's not to you. Maybe, maybe you're like, I'm hungry. I just gotta sit down. But I'm like, if you're gonna spend the money and come, you might as well get a good view. Um, I ordered the bison cheeseburger, which should be good. And uh, I got myself, I went crazy, and I got myself a Sprite with a splash of cranberry. And I specifically said, just a splash, because it's gotta be a splash. Uh, and, and Queen V, she got the roasted salmon. So you know I'm gonna have to try some of that. I'm gonna let her try some of my burger. So now we're just waiting for our food. Can't wait. So the food has arrived. It looks delicious. This is my bison burger. Uh, I got the french fries and I'm not gonna, I, I gotta tell you the truth, I already did try one of those french fries and it was delicious. I got this sauce extra ass for extra, uh, I think it's Marion Berry, but they put it on the burger, but I wanted some extra uh, for my french fries. And then Queen V got this delicious roasted salmon. You got some like quinoa, I think in there with a salad, nice and healthy and fresh on a gorgeous day like today, but we are gonna give you guys our review and uh, and how we like everything. It looks delicious though. All right, I gotta, I gotta show you guys me trying one of these fries. Mm. They're like salted perfectly, I'm they not kidding. So good. They use, uh, they use uh, not your regular standard salt. I think it's kosher, but it's like small kosher salt, but right here, this is that Marion Berry. No way. I yeah. have to try it It's like, it, it's sweet. It's got a little berry flavor. Mm. And it's delicious. But they have it on the burger, like I've already told you guys. So here it is. Here is the bison burger. It also looks amazing. It does look amazing. The only thing that's concerning, and not taste-wise, the poppy seeds, they're going to be all through my teeth, man. <laughs> Because we had an, we had an issue with poppy like seed bagels. Poppy seed bagel. Yes. <laughs> well, we ate some, and then we met a uh, we met a viewer. Yeah. And we had them all on our teeth. We didn't even know. <laughs> till after till after we talked to the person. All right. Bison burger. Look at this okay. thing, man. Let me get some. And guys, take a bite. Take a bite. Get in there. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, but this has um, like the fried onions, which I love. So all right. Cheers, everybody. Oh, All that is fantastic. It's good. Mm -hmm. So thumbs up for the snail. Oh my goodness. That is so good. And did mm. you talk about your Sprite yet? I want to give a big shout out to whoever made this. Uh, made this Sprite with a splash of cranberry. They nailed it. I'm not kidding you. It's it's absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Ooh, your roasted salmon salad with ancient grains. I see some quinoa. Damn it, it's cucumber. Hmm. Yeah. So good. Salmon is delicious. Some roasted peppers, it's delicious. Nice and healthy. Nice and healthy. And healthy some citrus flavor. The citrus vinaigrette, that's right. It has a citrus vinaigrette on it. You guys need to take a bite. Hold on. Give them a bite. Come on, share with them. Oh, yeah. It's good. Thumbs up. Delicious. Get it again. Again and again. Again and again and again. It's so good. Now back to my burger. <laughs> this salad is delicious. I gotta say this is one of my favorite salads here in so far that I tried this one. So I like that we're gonna be going to different resorts 
and I can pick actually which one is my favorite. What a wonderful, wonderful lunch we had. We had an amazing server as well. Our server was awesome. She was awesome. I'm so full. I am, I am so full. It was delicious. I actually did try some of, some of Queen's salad and the dressing, that little citrus vinaigrette was awesome. It was not too, it was like, wasn't too citrusy, you know, where it's like pow right in your face. It was real subtle and real soft. And it was delicious. And look at those cotton candy clouds. Oh, it was a success. An eating success today. All right, everybody, that is gonna do it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was fun. It was so fun. It was fun and now I'm full. Delicious, <laughs> delicious food, but now we're full. Um, but we did, we, we hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we hope you consider subscribing to the channel if you did. And uh, also let us know in the comments what resort you would want us to do yeah, next. Because we're so nice. yeah, we go and eat. We can eat. We just want to eat. Now we can go and eat and show you guys around, uh, um, you know, to the different resorts. But let us know in the comments uh, one that you guys would want to, you know, see next on the channel. But guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh, till we see you next time, remember, there's only one way to live. In the moment. In the moment. Thank you. See you next video. Thank you.